Today, my friends, I have something amazing for you. This channel is one of the select few that was able to actually get their hands on the brand new Milwaukee M18 fuel push mower. My God, I'm so cool. So sit back and relax while I use it, abuse, slice, and dice. I'll put this mower to the test like none other. Here we go, all. Let's open up that garage door. Get it go. Ah, s gotta put my stupid jacket back on. Stupid. All right, so it looks like we're not cutting any grass today. We're not slicing and dicing. We're not gonna use and abuse, but we got the brand new Milwaukee Fuel M18 mower here, and we're gonna go over this entire thing, and I'm telling you what, there's one feature about this you're really gonna like, and we're gonna talk about that. So let's get this video going. All right, so here's the brand new Milwaukee M18 Fuel lawnmower, and I'm gonna put something out there. I remember two years ago, I literally said to Milwaukee IA, you need a lawnmower. They had the quick lock system, you know, the weed eater and the outdoor power equipment, but they didn't have that center hub. So NPS 2019, I was like, where's it at? I was hoping that the Milwaukee IA fuel lawnmower was gonna be there, and it wasn't, but I consistently busted their chops and I told them I want a lawnmower. So what does this mean? Why am I ranting on and on about me getting on Milwaukee IA about their lawnmower? I'm gonna tell you right now. Because I'm taking 100% full credit for it. Not Milwaukee, not the engineers that designed and created it, not all of the stores that are gonna carry it, only me. But am I a hero? Yes. All right, so let's take a look at this here real quick. Metal stamp deck. This is not plastic, this is metal. However, this, this, this is plastic. It's a heavier gray plastic, but still plastic. Front wheels, plastic. Back wheels, plastic. That said, it's a heavy gray like polymer and you're not gonna have to worry about these things breaking unless you run them over with your truck. Larger back wheels here, so it's gonna help you get through some heavier terrain or if it's rough or whatever, those will cover you. 10 inches to be exact. Rear wheel driven. The fronts don't turn, but these will at the same time. And right here, you got your flap to help control that grass. So on the back right here, you can take this out. This is your mulcher. So you put this in if you want to mulch the grass, you take it out if you don't want to mulch the grass. And this right here is really cool. You see this right here? This is your discharge. Very simple to put on, take it off. You're blowing that grass out from the back of the mower. Now this is why they did this. Instead of having the side discharge like you usually would, this right here is gonna help control the grass clippings and it won't push them if you're living closer to your neighbors into their yard. It's gonna be more spread out instead of like being blown over. It's kind of a bummer to me because I don't mind blowing grass clippings into my neighbor's yard. Less clean up for me and <laughs> I don't like them very much. If I don't want the side clippings, take this out. And now if I want a bag, I can do that. It's very simple to put on, take off. Just take these little hooks, throw them on. Got a weird camera angle, but let me show you. That's it. All right, let's take a quick look at the bat rays. Right there. So this kit is going to come with two 12.0 or 12H, whatever you want to call them, bat rays. One goes on this side, one goes on this side right here. But just an FYI, both batteries work at the exact same time. So yes, this is a dual battery mower. You can't put one in and then the other one be dead or just not put in and you expect this thing to run. It's not going to work. You have to use two batteries. But I do want to clear something up. A lot of questions that I had is, can you use a 5.0 or other size batteries? Yes, you absolutely can use a 9.0, a 3.0, whatever. But I will tell you, if you have a larger battery over here, like the 12 AH, and you put a 3.0 over here and 3.0 goes dead, everything's dead. It's not gonna work anymore. However, if you're in a pinch and you need to cut maybe just like a little bit of grass, you have some left over, yeah, you could throw a smaller battery in there. Get subscribed, hit that bell notification. Now I do wanna let you know something. This is going to be sold in a kit only. It's gonna come with two 12.0 batteries and a double rapid charger. So two ports on the rapid charger, which is good. We'll talk about that here a little bit later, but they do come with the two 12.0 batteries. Now, another cool thing about this right here is that you got your battery indicator light. So no matter what button I push on this mower or if I'm going, well, that's gonna kick on. It's gonna tell me how much more battery power I have. Oh, nice. You also have a handle here and a handle right here. So if you need to pick this thing up at all, you can. Now I will tell you it's a little heavy, but it's definitely lighter than a gas power mower. Just like you know, those are there for you. Let's move it over to another cool feature that I like and some other people like, some people don't. I'm curious to see what you think, but got an LED light right here, 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 and right here. It's also a light button right here. So as soon as I push that button right here, you can see they light up and you got some light on the side 
the front and the other side, not just a light bar to shine straight. Now, a lot of people say that they don't care about the lights and that they're gonna drain the battery. Me personally, I don't think the LED lights are going to drain the battery. It's probably using a very minimal amount of power to run those things. That said, some people say they don't like them, but other people say they love them and that they cut grass after work if it gets dark a little bit earlier or if they wanna cut early morning, those are gonna come in handy. I wanna know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. All right, so what about storage? Yes, you can fold these handles down. What's cool about this is think about one of your ladders like the Gorilla or Warner. You just take this and turn it. You do the same on the other side, and now you can adjust your height if you're taller or shorter, it doesn't matter, or if you just wanna fold this thing completely over. Take the bag off, and now you can store this thing on the feet. Just stand it straight up and it won't take up that much room. If you absolutely had to, you can remove these handles as well and it would get even more compact. Now let's look at one more thing right here. This is your height adjustment. One lever is going to control all your adjustments and it is super, super easy to use. All right, so real fast, let's take a look at the control panel. Now this mower is pretty freaking simple to control. This is your power, this is your speed, this is your light, your LED like I showed you already, and this little button right here we'll talk about here in a second. So let me go ahead and start this thing up real quick and I want you to hear something. Ready? All right, I'm gonna take this handle, I'm gonna pull it back, simply hit this button right here. All right, first off, it's quiet, way more quiet than your standard gas mower. I would say it's probably around 70 dBs, but that's just a guess. But what really got me on this was the instant power that this thing had. There was no rev up. Listen to this again. Three, two, one. That is crazy. I don't think people realize that when you're dealing with battery power tools, the torque is instant on those. But even on a lot of the other battery power mowers, you always have that rev up. This is instant, instant. One more time, pull it. Again, if you don't wanna go battery, don't go battery. I'm not telling you to go battery, nobody's telling you to go battery. I'm just saying, I don't wanna deal with the hassle of trying to start my mower after the long winter and having to worry about spark plugs, bad gas, all that stuff. The torque on these, imagine your cars, your, your Teslas and all that. They are super fast off the line because of the instant torque the battery gives it. But that's up to you if you want one or not. Mm -hmm. All right, so this right here, this is your speed. So it goes from one to five. If I want this to propel, whether it's running or not, I'm gonna pull my lever back and push this button here. Well, it's not really a button, it's a switch handle, whatever, but. Now, if I want this to go faster, I'll just bring this up on a five and it's pretty quick. I believe it's like three miles per hour or three and a half miles per hour. Let me go here. Ooh. FYI, I have another video that I'll put at the end of this video for you to check out. It talks about all the specs. You can cut a half an acre with it and all that good stuff. But everything else you need to know about this mower, I'll leave at the end of this video. This one here is more of a hands-on. All right, so what does this button right here do? Well, you see a lot of people were asking me about what I thought mulching-wise or leaf-wise. If you have a lot of leaves in the fall, will this thing mulch them? Well, this was designed specifically for that as well. So here's what I'm gonna do. Right here, I'm gonna pull this in, and I'm gonna start it up, and you're gonna hear it start normal. All right, now listen what happens when I start it up and hit that button. All right, so on a lot of your battery power mowers, you're gonna get that smart technology, basically where if you hit that higher patch of grass, it's gonna rev that motor up, it's gonna cut it and it's gonna bring it back down and conserve that battery power. This does the exact same thing. However, that button right there, if you're going through something really heavy or if you're going through leaves or mulching those leaves or whatever you're trying to do, you hit that button right there and it's gonna keep that at a higher rate. It's gonna bring those leaves in. It's gonna have more airflow underneath there and, and chop those leaves off even better. Real Nasdaq. One other thing I wanna to mention to you is, yeah, it only comes with one blade. A lot of other mowers, you get two blades underneath there, like the select cuts and all that, but nope, just one. I'm curious of why they designed it like that, but they're saying, hey, we don't need two blades, so we'll see. Now, some people were asking about the handle right here or your self-propelled. I like this. You kind of put your thumb right here and right here and push it down. It's actually a little bit more comfortable than I thought it would be. You don't even notice it when you have it in your hands. So. I like. So everything about this mower so far from what I'm seeing, that instant, instant power. The build quality looks really great. I really can't wait to use it, but 
I do want to talk about one other thing. That is price. Now I'm going to throw it out there. I already did it on the last video. Again, I'll leave that at the end of this video. You're looking at $999 for this mower. Now, a lot of people are going to say there's no way I'm spending $1,000 on a push mower. And I would agree. I find that to be expensive, but this is Milwaukee's, well, way of explaining it. You're going to get two 12.0 batteries with this. You're also going to get the dual rapid charger. So if you were to go to the store and buy one Milwaukee M18 12.0 battery, you're looking at $249. So together, you're looking at $500. And then you got the rapid charger, so you're probably looking at like $600. So all in all, with the kit, you're really only paying like four, four fifty dollars for this mower. However, they're only going to sell this mower in the kit. You're not going to be able to buy this tool, tool only, which is kind of a bummer to me. You see, if I already have a bunch of Milwaukee IA batteries, and I don't want any more batteries or chargers, and I just want the mower, and I don't want to spend a thousand dollars, I just want to be able to buy the mower. But you're not going to be able to do that is the kit only, but that's where they're justifying that, yes, you were getting the two 12.0s, so they're going to cost you $500 if you bought them separately, and you're going to get that rapid two port charger and the mower is not gonna cost you all that much. Now, some people do not have a problem with the price because of the batteries and what I just explained. And some people said, I am not spending $1,000 for a mower. That is up to you, whether or not you want to purchase this mower for that amount of money. But I am curious of what you think. I love hearing the feedback, the comments. So leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this mower so far. I can't wait to get it out, try it on that sweet, sweet grass. We're also gonna do a couple tool duels against this and some other very popular mowers on the market. But you know, if you like this video, if it's helping you in any sort of way, please don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> Appreciate it. Also, if you wanna see those videos, don't forget to get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on them. I always appreciate you stopping by with that. Back with more videos soon.